Welcome, I'm Beth McLaughlin, and thank you for joining us today for our report on the electric mine in conjunction with Mining Monthly and Mining Magazine. I'm joined today by Jerome Clue, who is VP of Electrification at Epiroc. Epiroc is supporting the mining industry in its journey towards electrification, providing essential infrastructure and equipment. So what are some of the solutions that you're offering people, and especially some of the ones that you might have brought to market more recently? Yeah, so an, an important factor to mention is that we are really offering to uh, our customers uh, every, I would say, every solution that they need, depending on the level of maturity they are at in their decarbonization journey. So that starts from uh, basically uh, cable electric trolley and battery electric vehicles. So on the electrification side, we are also offering hybrid version. And also uh, for those customers which are very early in their decarbonization journey, um, HV100 uh, compatible engines so, uh, so that they can use sustainable fuels as well. Uh, and really we can say that we have basically the broadest uh, offering in the uh, electrification market beyond battery electric vehicle. Another important aspect as well, really to facilitate that journey is the uh, electrical infrastructure uh, offering that we have and uh, that that uh, that basically we um, uh, we bring together with the electric uh, vehicle that uh, that we we offer to our customers. And you mentioned that lots of your customers might be in the early stages of that journey. And how so what's the role of hybrid vehicles um, in terms of helping them get started? Yeah, really, uh, hybrid is definitely a, a good introduction uh, to basically mm -hmm. the um, the sustainability journey uh, in in the uh, in the industry. That's really well suited to uh, some uh, applications and some type of customers. So, for example, we see a lot of interest from mining contractors for those type of equipments, but also from mine with a short uh, remaining lifetime, and also mines with uh, where the electrical infrastructure is really not yet ready for electric machines. So there are a lot of, I would say, sweet spots for that. So uh, that's, again, a first step into that journey. So not from a kind of emission reduction standpoint as optimal as other technologies, but definitely a good and interesting first step. Excellent. And you've got some quite ambitious targets, haven't you? Um, could you just tell us a little bit about those? Yeah, so we have a very, uh, as you say, very aggressive uh, goal plan so uh, our 2030 sustainability goals basically uh, uh, relates to uh, reducing by 50 percent uh, our scope three emissions uh, so basically the emission generated by your equipment on the field and we have a target to to, to have basically uh, um, a full electric offering uh, by 2025 for our uh, underground equipment and by 2030 uh, for our surface equipment. So uh, we want to offer to our customer uh, in every product line that we have, if you will, if you will, an, an altern I would say uh, an electric alternative. We also want to, uh, we, we have a, an aggressive target to, uh, uh, to, to, um, to reduce the, uh, the emissions from our supply base and, uh, and look at every uh, possible solution uh, in terms of uh, lower emitting uh, su supply, su components on, on our equipment, such as carbon-free steel, as an example. Excellent. And when we talk about uh, uh, electrification, people often think in terms of vehicles and machinery and equipment. But what is the role of alternative energies? And, and how do you help to, to facilitate more use of renewables, for example, um, in, in the mining sector? Yeah, I would say that uh, the, the way we approach uh, uh, that journey and, and facilitating the adoption of, uh, of, of those new technologies is through uh, partnership and collaboration. There is no uh, company in the industry which is uh, able to really offer the full scope of uh, solutions uh, to drive this dec decarbonization journey. So we are really working and partnering with mining houses, energy producers, uh, electrification infrastructure, uh, or power re uh, uh, reticulation uh, 
players on really partnering together to offer this full turnkey solution that is uh, a true enabler to the uh, uh, decarbonization or electrification journey of our customers. So really, as our CEO uh, said in, in a few uh, equations, partnership is the new leadership. And we truly believe that. And we are entering into a lot of uh, partnership agreement to really join forces and, and provide more value to our customers. That's great. And what is it that you offer in terms of overhead trolley lines? Could you tell me a little bit about that and, and that its role in decarbonization? Yeah. So that, that is really something that is uh, gaining also a lot of interest and, and traction uh, on the market. And we are, have a close, so I was referring, speaking about partnership, but here in that case, we have a close partnership with Boliden and ABB uh, in a, a Vinova funded project today. Uh, and I would say that the, those type of uh, uh, solutions are very attractive when we are speaking with heavy loads, which are transported over long distance, uh, up steep inclines. And, and that's really um, uh, a very attractive solution where you don't have a range uh, constraints, where uh, you have pretty demanding application. And the way we see uh, our uh, position on the market when it relates to trolley version is that we want to offer the different technologies that are today available or being developed to customers to give them really the flexibility that they need depending on their operation. So uh, uh, we will be really a kind of a trolley solution agnostic in a way and be able to uh, embed uh, any, any solution that makes sense for our customers. Excellent. And what's the response been like from the industry so far? Yeah, I would say that there has been definitely a very positive uh, traction, a huge interest in those new technologies. And the fact that we offer a, a large variety of uh, large span and scope of, uh, of solution definitely uh, facilitate the, the, the start of uh, the decarbonization journey for uh, from, from our customers. So that's really uh, something that is... Uh, uh, giving a lot of uh, good discussion and a lot of traction, uh, knowing that, again, we can help our customers on the machine, the equipment side, but also the infrastructure side, and obviously on the service side, because that requires also a lot of uh, upskilling, a lot of uh, uh, new, new skill set development, and we can help them into that, uh, uh, developing those, uh, those new skill sets. And I guess a, a perception before people start on this journey could be that it's it's a big capital outlay that's something they have to do in terms of improving their ESG scores. But what are some of the other benefits that customers are saying that, that, that they've managed to, to achieve through this electrification process? Yeah, there are definitely a lot of additional benefits. Um, the first one is definitely a, a lower total cost of ownership. I mean, uh, lower energy costs, so lower maintenance costs, uh, lower ventilation requirements, so lower ventilation costs in a way. So that's really an important factor. Um, improved health and health and safety conditions in the mine uh, through elimination of uh, diesel particles, so which is really one of the biggest, uh, uh, let's say, uh, polluting factor in, especially in underground mine, uh, lower noise level, um, and also, um, less each generation, so really much better health and safety condition in the mine um, and, and basically enhanced productivity. So uh, because of um, the, 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 the battery, um, the battery technology that enable to have lower cycle time, more costs, a more uh, ton per hour uh, as, as an output. So really a lot of uh, uh, a lot of additional benefit and Something that we don't necessarily speak too much about is uh, higher attractiveness as an employer. I mean, we, ha we have got a lot of uh, operators' feedback around how it is, how convenient it is to use uh, electric vehicles in the mine. So that's really, to me, another important factor uh, to mention. That's great. So if anyone um, is maybe hesitating on, or not sure um, how to take the first steps, um, what would you say to them in terms of getting started on that journey? Well, I would say that really uh, uh, speak with us and we will really uh, help you uh, uh, driving that, 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 that journey. 
Um, I really encourage every company to start and thinking and preparing for that uh, sooner rather than later, because that's a, tr a true journey. And, um, and again, there are a lot of uh, benefits. And today it's, I would say, still something which is not mandatory, but we see increasing pressure from communities, from local authorities and, and, and financial institutions. So I, I, I strongly believe that it's important that this journey is started sooner rather than later, because again, there, is, there are a lot of aspects uh, to think of, and we are definitely here to help our customers to uh, to move into that, uh, uh, that that journey. Excellent. Well, thanks ever so much for the enlightening conversation, Jerome. Thank you for your time today. Thanks, I appreciate it.